Corpora and uh, Concordance are other facilities or softwares which are available uh, to us through internet and by the application of uh, computer assisted language learning in our classrooms. We could take help uh, with uh, both these elements of uh, call and make our language teaching more effective. Corpora may be seen as a collection of various uh, texts, both spoken or written, which may be used uh, for uh, analyzing or describing language. And it usually consists of various, uh, uh, various collection of, uh, of the uses of language from various contexts available in relation to a certain language, for example, English language. And uh, this corpora is created online most of the time. Uh, we do have specially designed corpora and with the help of uh, digitalized uh, softwares, uh, these uh, corpora help uh, language researchers, uh, material developers, and uh, classroom teachers to examine English language more closely in various contexts. Uh, both classroom contexts as well as national or cultural contexts because uh, these days we do have corpora which, which deal with the uses of English language in uh, various second language or foreign language contexts. And those uh, corpora do help us in identifying the various uh, special features of uh, English languages being used in those contexts. And uh, it helps researchers to identify uh, the, uh, the different identity of those, uh, uh, those varieties of English language. Concordance uh, are based on those uh, softwares which focus on or allow, or allow the users to search thousands and in some cases millions of the words uh, for in context occurrence uh, of particular morphemes, words or phrases. Uh, it, it usually uh, includes the various uses of the language and, uh, in, in various contexts. And through th these softwares, we can uh, look at them simultaneously and can identify their, their multiple uses. A typical uh, search returns are a series of text lines which, which are aligned and uh, which are, allow uh, a user analysis through uh, finding keywords available in those lines. Uh, uh, concordance can uh, support both teachers and learners uh, in their respective fields uh, for learning as well as for teaching. Uh, for example, for uh, teachers, it can provide an in input for materials development. It could help them in uh, finding some natural occurrences of or uses of various words. And it can give them an idea how language is being actually used. And this could be a source of uh, some lexicogrammatical information about naturally occurring language, uh, which, can be, uh, uh, which can be a facility for language teaching uh, in real situations. For learners, uh, it can be a, uh, be a good facility for inductive learning because uh, teach, uh, students can derive rules by uh, looking at, at the uses of uh, uh, various words and their combination in, uh, in various sentences. Uh, they, it can be also uh, be a source of error analysis and correction uh, for the students. It can also give uh, both teachers and students uh, various ideas about the use of uh, academic language and the various patterns of uh, academic language as it is being used by various scholars or learners in the field, so uh, they can get a fair idea about uh, the use of language. Uh, teachers and learners uh, can use uh, con uh, concording uh, softwares uh, to search large data uh, databases, and, and through this they can find all the uses of, of a particular word. Uh, the use of such software may be confusing for the beginners sometimes, but 
uh, as they grow in the use of such software, they become very friendly. One of uh, the important uh, concordance uh, softwares which are available to ELT practitioners could be uh, Oxford Micro uh, Concord. And this software includes uh, more than 10 lakh words uh, from British newspapers. So this can be very helpful uh, and there could be many other similar uh, softwares or concordance uh, applications which can be available to language teachers and learners. ELT pra practitioners should make best use of them.